Now, most exploit mitigations that are in widespread usage all started as sort of academic topics where people were just trying to see, you know, what could we possibly do about these exploits? And ultimately, the ones that are in common usage were the ones that were found to be practical and they were subsequently adopted. So one of the newest things to be coming out of academic and into the world of practical is a mechanism called control flow integrity. And the idea here is that you want the system overall to try to verify things like calling and returning to functions, which is control flow. You want to verify that these things like return addresses on the stack are not actually subject to attacker manipulation. So you're verifying the integrity. Now, if you're a execution environment author, such as an operating system virtualization or firmware author, and you've already successfully implemented all those other exploit mitigations, which you should definitely do you know, first, then great, congratulations, now this is the next thing for you to implement. Now, CFI can be achieved both through pure software means as well as hardware augmented means, but it's generally understood that hardware augmentation is what's required in order to make it actually performant. So it is only just in the most recent years started to come into existence. For instance, the iPhone A12 SOC in 2019 has support for pointer authentication, and the Intel Tiger Lake CPUs from 2020 have support for control enforcement technology. Like I said, there are software-only mechanisms. So for instance, Microsoft added a thing called Control Flow Guard in Visual Studio 2015, and you can absolutely just turn that on right now. But it was understood that you know, Control Flow Guard is a best effort mechanism that is trying to get us you know, closer to the CFI goal. And of course, they knew that these hardware modifications would be coming and of course, they actually consulted with Intel and worked hand in hand, right? It's called Wintel. Uh, they worked with them in order to get the type of features and functionality they would want to achieve, achieve stronger CFI. So again, you can't even opt into software-only CFI unless you have the appropriate compiler and execution environment support. So we'll provide on the website more information about where those combinations are available. And also, you know, you can opt into this type of technique and Yes, it won't be as strong as possible for now, but as the hardware starts rolling out that has CFI hardware support, uh, this can only get stronger over time.